Uh, yesterday, pretty good day. Uh, I swept the card. Uh, and uh, right now, 156 wins, 145 losses, minus 23 units. Uh, so uh, we're going into the right direction. And uh, the season is still long. Uh, so I just checked which chat GPT, uh, how many games we played. So it is around 40% of games uh, and we still have 60% of games. So no panic. Uh, we will see step by step. <clears throat> Uh, for such things, I usually uh, use ChatGPT. Uh, of course, ChatGPT uh, paid version, not free. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the best investments you can make uh, for $20 uh, or 20 euros or whatever the price is in your country. But this is one of the best in, uh, investments because you can, you can get some basic information without uh, looking, without searching. Uh, but of course, if you want to create a betting model, if you want to use... Uh, the numbers and if you want to have the edge in the betting more then you will still need to find some unique way uh, but ChatGPT uh, is great and uh, as i said it is around 40 percent of games uh, so far so it is still <clears throat> it is still a lot of games until the end of the season and i'm still positive so let's move to today's projections and games i have only uh two qualified bets both from the same game but i will go quickly uh, through the numbers, St. Louis, Chicago, uh, those are my projected numbers. Uh, Yankees, Boston, Louis Gill, Brian Bello, two right-handed pitchers. Uh, not enough value, so I have minus 120 on Yankees. Bookmakers, minus 164, so not enough value. Miami, Washington, I skipped this game. Philadelphia, Baltimore, Ranger Suarez, Kyle Bradish, uh, lefty against righty. Uh, uh, based on my projections, there is not enough uh, value. Um, uh, but uh, maybe small value with Baltimore, so small lean with Baltimore. Cleveland, Toronto, Logan Allen against Kevin Gaussman, my lines, plus 101 on Toronto, bookmakers minus 122, so maybe small lean with Cleveland. San Diego, Mets, uh, I think the odds are completely fair. Uh, my model uh, favors slightly Mets uh, in this game. Bookmakers have this at 50-50, but I don't see any value. Tampa Bay Rays, uh, I have uh, Tampa Bay Rays at plus 177, bookmakers plus 193. So we both give them around uh, less than 40% of chance to win, uh, win this game. So 36.13%, this is my probability, uh, not good enough. And then we have Cincinnati, Milwaukee. I have Milwaukee at minus 180, bookmakers minus 127. So I have Milwaukee in first five innings and also Full game money line. Okay. Oakland, Minnesota. I have Oakland at plus 149. Bookmakers plus 147, which is the same. Detroit, Houston, uh, also same numbers. Pittsburgh, Colorado. I skip this game. White Sox, Arizona. Uh, yesterday, White Sox uh, was qualified bet. Uh, so Seattle changed the pitcher bet. Most bookmakers don't have this option anymore for last three years. So, uh, of course, it, it was a winning bet, but I also lost a uh, couple of bets uh, in last uh, last three years, uh, and I think I have a negative record because they changed the picture and because the the, the bookmakers don't have uh, many bookmakers don't have uh, listed pictures anymore. Or if you do on uh, some uh, some some other bookmakers anyway, uh, so it was uh, it was a good bet, uh, huge underdog, not huge, but plus. 156 i think uh, underdog bet and in, but but in today's game i don't see any value i think the odds are completely fair texas seattle also no value kansas dodgers my odds and bookmakers odds are completely the same and then we have angel san francisco uh i, I will see which pitcher uh, will be on the mound for san francisco maybe i can change this but not later just before the game okay if I'm too late, I stay away from this game. So uh, it still needs to be early. Um, and if there will be some value, there might be some action. But if not, uh, I, will, I, will, I will stay away. So right now, this is not a play, of course. And those are my probabilities. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and of course, uh, if you want to learn how I use spreadsheets, because... Um, I receive uh, many times question, hey, will you post bets? Will you post, uh, I don't know, Euro bets or soccer or baseball? So 
for a very small fee, you can get all my spreadsheets and you don't need to wait on me, okay? Uh, so you can make your own predictions, own projections. I don't know why you even rely on other people's work. Uh, while uh, there is a chance that you can do this work because nothing is free in the world, uh, uh, right? Uh, so uh, if you want to get all my spreadsheets, you can always go to underdogchance.com uh, because I, I will probably not share all these bets in the future, but I, I still want to share this knowledge to as many people as possible so they can start using the spreadsheet. So my goal is that uh, more and more people start using spreadsheets, numbers, statistics on a very simple way because um, I'm not a mathematician uh, and uh, I try to teach or show how you can use numbers in a very simple way. And in the long run, of course, we have bad days, we have bad months, we will also have bad seasons. But in the long run, uh, if you make your own analysis with uh, with the numbers, uh, you will have much better chance at winning a sports betting. And I everything I say, it is always about the long ter long term, because I, I don't know what can happen in two months, three months. I don't have this power. But in the long run, uh, I am profitable better. This is why I'm here. This is why this is my only job for more than 10 years now. So, and I, I want to pass the knowledge because when I started, uh, there was no one who could give me all these things. Okay. And I think this is pretty valuable. At least this is how I see. So, uh, that's it. Okay. So thank you for watching. See you next time.